this is a foldable phone. It promises to be a two-in-one device, a phone and a tablet at the same time that you can put inside of your pocket. Because of that promise, more people are starting to jump into a folding phone, but many people don't even know how to maximize their fold phones into its truest potential. Furthermore, I know some people that don't even use the main inner screen of their fold phone ever. They just use the outer screen. That's it. I mean, what's the point of having a folding phone if you never use the folding feature? Anyway, today I'm going to show you some amazing things that you can do with your foldable phone so that you can unfold its deepest potential. Pun intended. No, this video is not about the Galaxy Z Fold being the best foldable phone in the world or that you should buy a Galaxy Z Fold or any folding phone in that matter. No, this video is all about maximizing what you already have to its fullest potential so that you can get more things done with what you already have. It's also not about gear acquisition syndrome, buying new gear just to get marginal improvement. No, even if you don't have a folding phone, you just have a regular iPhone or Android phone, it's okay. I can guarantee you that you can still learn a thing or two from today's video. Anyway, if you are new here, hi, my name is Gary. In this channel, I'm sharing my journey about trying to optimize my life. I'm sharing things related to EDC, technology, productivity, travel, and stuff like that. So if you are interested in those kind of things, please consider subscribing to my channel. But anyway, let's continue with today's video. First awesome thing that you can do with your foldable phone is to play video games. So right here I have a game called Polytopia. So most of modern games in Android will support full screen mode on your foldable so that there's no black bars or anything. It's just so satisfying to play this particular game. This is a strategy game you're supposed to like uh, explore the region and try to kind of you know, conquer the other enemy and also consume resource, that kind of stuff. It works so well on this particular device. I love playing Polytopia on my phone. Another great example of video game that you can play on your full device is this game right here. This is the Pocket City 2. I think this is one of the best example of city building game for Android and it particularly runs amazingly on my Fold 5 because of the aspect ratio, the screen, and then it's it's just so immersive to be able to play city building game, uh, this polish on this particular device. Everything looks so well, everything runs so well with the almost 4 by 3 aspect ratio. It's easier to navigate your city, to zoom in and zoom out and see everything that's going on on the detail like you can zoom in really far you can zoom out and then you can just go to the other part of the city i mean yeah i think fold is the excellent device to play city building games another excellent game to play on your fold device is the classic doom it is available in android and it also supports mouse and keyboard which is my preferred method to play games i don't really like to use controllers or just the touch screen to play games i like to be able to use mouse and keyboard like what i'm doing right now it is just so convenient so accurate because you know, I grew up playing PC games and being able to use mouse and keyboard, it just feels so much more natural to me. Look at me right now, <laughs> I'm slaying zombies with my shotgun. Another great thing that you can do on your full device is content consumption, especially watching movies. Now, regular movies, you'll experience plenty of black bars. For example, I have a video by Chris Mitz Chris right here. I'm opening his YouTube video. And as you can see, there are pretty severe black bars on top and on the bottom of the screen. That is because usually videos are 16 by 9 or even wider. But an excellent thing that you can do is just to zoom out, uh, not use the full screen, and watch it vertically like this. And all of a sudden, 
boom, you have all the comments that you can read while you're watching the video. I think this is truly game changer because you can start to, you know, uh, see what other people things about the video while you are watching the video. Another great thing that you can do on your full device besides playing games and also content consumption is productivity. Some apps are tailor suited for the default kind of screen orientation and aspect ratio. So first of all, let me show you my favorite to-do list application, which is Todoist right here. As you can see, uh, you don't have only the to-do list, but you can also have the menu being persistently open on the left side of the screen. So this is really great because you can scroll on your task at one time and then at the same time without having to do extra press you can go to different kinds of view maybe you want to do upcoming or you want to just do one of your filters or your categories without having to go into the hamburger menu i think this is so convenient and so useful i genuinely love using to do this in my full device and then also Google Calendar. Let me show you Google Calendar, especially in the weekly view, works so well. You can just see everything and you have more views compared to when you are just using a regular phone. And also if you switch to the monthly view, it is still readable and useful as well. Also, I want to show you a little bit of email using Gmail. This is so great because at the same time, we can kind of have the list of emails on the left side of the screen and the content of the email on the right side of the screen. For example, like this. Let's do something like this. Yeah, as you can see, the content of the email is on the right and then the list of the emails is on the left. Another great thing that you can do on your folding device still related to productivity is browsing the internet using your favorite browser. My favorite browser happens to be Chrome. So yeah, we can just open Chrome and as you can see right away, the experience is not like a regular phone browsing experience. It is much larger. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys a little secret on how to make the bookmark bar appear persistently on your google chrome for your folding phone so uh, all that you need to do is just to go into the address bar and type chrome double dash flex and right away you'll see the option for bookmark bar make sure that it is enabled so now you can just save a whole bunch of websites on your bookmark bar whether it's from your PC or from this device and it will show up right here you don't have to go into the menu and press the bookmark and then just scroll to find whatever you want to uh, open you can just open it directly from here and it's just so much faster Another great thing that you can do with your Foldifies is to back up your photos and videos taken using your mirrorless camera or any camera that you have. This is especially useful when you are traveling. You don't want to carry a laptop just because you want to back up your photos and videos from your camera to your hard drive. You can just use your Fold or any other phone. It doesn't have to be a Fold. I will show you how, but first you need a USB-C hub like this, something with USB-A port and then card reader and also uh, USB-C power delivery. So first thing that you want to do is to grab the SD card from your camera and put it inside of the USB-C hub like this. Next what you want to do is you want to connect the USB cable of your hard drive into one of the USB port and then connect a power from a charger to the USB-C port right here or you can use a power bank as well and then now that you need to do is just to connect the USB-C hub into your fold like so now you need to wait for a little while before the fold will recognize the USB-C hub and its contents but when it already does that all that you need to do is just to go to the my files app and as you can see when we go to that app the fold will start to recognize both the hard drive and also the SD card so let's go to the SD card and I will give you an example of backing up a photo from the card 
to the hard drive so yeah i want to copy this particular photo that i just captured today just press copy and then you go to the other usb storage which is the external hard drive let's go to the folder test copy and paste and press copy here and voila you already backed up a photo from your camera to your hard drive just using your fold another great thing that you can do with your fold device is to record proper video especially for making youtube videos i think this device is more than capable as your youtube camera and all that you need to do is first open the fold and then use the camera app and make sure you have the preview screen on it'll be able to turn on monitoring using the cover screen as you can see right now and then you can just start recording right away you can see yourself on that monitor and then second thing to increase the audio quality i recommend you to use a usb microphone i'm currently using the rode video mic ntg you can connect it to USB-C directly to your phone, your phone will recognize it and it will improve the sound quality dramatically. And yeah, you can just do YouTube videos using your folding phone, no need to buy expensive cameras, I love it so much. Another great thing that we can do on our Fold device is to record voiceover. All that you need to do is just open the voice recorder app and start recording right away. But we're going to take it up a notch doing something even better than just recording voiceover. We're gonna also open the script together using multitasking. So I already prepared a script on my Google Keep. Let's open the Google Keep on the left and open the voice recorder on the right. And also just to remind you guys i'm still using the usb-c microphone the rode video mic ntg to get better sound quality let's open the script and let's prepare the voice recorder and now we are ready to record our talks let's do it hey this is gary if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to my channel see that's easy Anyway, to organize all of this mess that we need to enhance the usability of our fold device, I can really recommend this bag right here. This is a tag pouch that can double into a sling bag by Alpaca called the Vertex Pouch. I already featured this guy on my other video and I will put the best discount link right here so that if you're purchasing this guy or any other alpaca products you'll get the best price ever period i will also put it on the link below as well but anyway let's try to pack everything up all of this mess right here into the alpaca vertex pouch Another great thing that you can do on your folding device is video editing. If you're a content creator, if you already recorded some videos using your fold device and you want to make it into maybe a YouTube video that you can post on YouTube, then you can do video editing on this device for sure. I am using an app called LumaFusion. I think it is the best video editor for Android on this particular device. So let's make a short video. Let's edit it using LumaFusion. Just drag and drop and you can kind of adjust where the video starts and where the video ends. It's just so intuitive in my opinion. And then you can do another clip and then adjust the length of the clip like so and then maybe uh, put some other clips right here we're doing a whole bunch of b-rolls right here yep very nice very simple it's not terribly difficult and then you can also adjust each individual clip you want to maybe adjust the audio turn off or make it louder or maybe you want to do a little bit of color grading we can do that let's put this preset and then start to adjust maybe more saturation maybe less brightness more brightness that kind of stuff and then just export it later and turn it into mp4 yeah very easy to do on the fold device 
also photo editing using the fold is so great i'm using adobe lightroom to edit my photos for example right here i have a photo that i want to use as a thumbnail for my youtube video for my photography channel let's try to quickly edit this photo i mean the interface is just so easy to use in lightroom mobile for fold device it almost feels like you are using a tablet but it's so much easier to hold because it is not as large and heavy as a proper tablet so yeah adding a little bit of clarity and the haze and maybe playing a little bit with vignette and then also maybe adding just a little bit of sharpness reducing the radius increasing the detail and masking noise reduction stuff like that last but not least another great thing that you can do on your fold phone is multitasking this phone is built definitely for multitasking and if you don't multitask with this phone then you're missing out let me show you some incredible multitasking things that you can do maybe open a youtube and maybe you want to learn about black holes and stuff like that and then you can just open a notes app and put it on the other side and you can start typing notes while you are listening to the video like oh what is a black hole another multitasking example maybe you're opening your email app and also google calendar at the same time and then you receive an email it's a schedule for an upcoming event for example and then after reading the email you can just schedule what time you need to go to that particular meeting and then you can change the date stuff like that yeah very easy to do especially if you can open both apps at the same time another multitasking example for example you are opening your text message app and then you see some tasks that you need to remember then you can just open your to-do list put it on the right you have both apps open together just read what happens and then start typing what you need to do at what date anyway enough about me what about you guys what phones are you guys using are you using a foldable phone like me or are you using something else and what things that you are doing on your phone so that you can maximize its full potential let's have a little bit of a discussion let's have a little bit of a chat i want to learn from you guys as well please write on the comments down below but anyway that is all for today's video about how i utilize my folding phone to its maximum potential hopefully this can give you some inspiration and some idea anyway that's all thank you for watching please don't forget to like this video share my videos and to subscribe to my channel down below i will see you guys on the next video thank you and goodbye